um, they they took on the council. They they they, def they defended their own premises uh, and their own rights of ways, what they thought were the rights of ways. But it was interesting looking at the news this evening. Uh, they interviewed a lot of local people. Right. Not very happy with it. All right, uh, that's it for now. For more tonight's program, go to pbc.ie the web the next from us tonight. Good night. <laughs> not gone I, I thought we had reached the end of the program yeah, before that break and uh, I said goodbye to you all but anyway here I am <laughs> <laughs> oh god it's terrible but anyway some of you had texts and tweets and I don't want to hear any texts and tweets about me losing it um, <laughs> uh, top state pensions turn twilight years into high life years yeah yeah um, Paul Anthony Ward says 103 out of 160 TDs and 30 out of 60 senators from Fine Gael and Labour. Not one of them would go on the programme tonight to defend what's happened with the Garda pensions. John Hennessy says more than 30 former ministers are in receipt of pensions in excess of 100,000 a year. That's really quite appalling. Now, you, you, wanted, to, you wanted to talk uh, briefly about the... Um, wanted to talk uh, briefly about the... Um, uh, about the front page of the Sun. Yeah, the, the Sun have... Uh, a story which I suppose will, will terrify a lot of parents, schoolgirls photos on fetish porn site and I suppose it just goes into the whole idea of internet privacy and how it no longer exists anymore and um, a lot of kids uh, who've got Facebook pages mm. and they're not private, their photographs have this been taken by weirdos. This time it's real, that's it for now, I don't I got you thinking it's too lucky, well the next month for now. <laughs> <laughs>